Okay, so now we're going to start getting into the graphs. We're still going to find the same information we did before, amplitude, period, and phase shift, but now we're going to add the graph in addition to that. So, the original equation I have is y equals 4 sine x. The, uh, what you're going to do to answer these questions is, first of all, the amplitude. We have the absolute value of 4. Okay, that's what we're going to put for this one, and you get 4. The 4 came from this. This is our A value, and your B value in this problem, there's actually a 1 in front of the X. So when you want to do period, that's 2 pi over B. That's 2 pi divided by 1, and we get 2 pi. Your phase shift would be, you're taking the opposite sign of C over B. Now there is no number after the X here. So normally you'd have a parenthesis part, you'd have a plus or minus something after it. We don't have that in this case. So because of that, your phase shift is actually going to be zero. So it would be zero divided by the number in front of the x, and you would get zero for the phase shift. That means it doesn't move left or right at all. Okay, so also another thing, once we have amplitude, period, and phase shift, the next thing we're going to take a look at is an idea that's called quarter points. Okay, so a quarter point basically would, would uh, define the graph into four pieces. So what I mean by that is before we looked at some graphs previously and we had something that looks like this. So for a sine graph like this one, we would have one, two, three, four different pieces. Each of these pieces in here, that's considered a quarter point. A quarter point is how far it is from here to here, from here to here, and so forth. If I know what the quarter point is and I know what the phase shift is, I can get all these values down here for the graph because when you do the graph you want to make sure you label each of these points down here. These are referred to as key points. So for all the problems in this section I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to work with my quarter points. So what a quarter point is. Quarter point, there's a formula for it. It is period divided by 4. And that would make sense because the whole period would be all the way across here. We have one, two, three, four different regions there. So that's why we, where we get the quarter point from. Your period is always going to be divided by four. It's always in quarters because you actually have each of these. Now a key point is a place where the graph is either at the x-axis or at an amplitude. That's what defines a key point. And when you do these graphs, you want to make sure you label all of your key points. Okay, so what I need to do on this one is do period divided by 4. My period for this problem was 2 pi. I'm dividing it by 4 and I get pi over 2. To get these points right here for my graph, what I need to do is I, I'm starting with the phase shift. My phase shift is, is 0 in this case. I'm going to add the quarter point to it. When I do that, it brings me over to the next point right here. So. I'm just going to go ahead and do just the key points only. We'll do the graph a little bit later here. I want to just label my key points first. Zero was the first one we started with. That's the phase shift. If I add pi over 2 to it, I'm going to get the next point over here, and I get pi over 2. So pi over 2 is going to be right here. Well then, I'm going to take pi over 2, and I'm going to add another pi over 2 to it to get pi. That's the next one over here. That's pi right there. Then I'm going to take pi plus pi over 2. If I add that, I get 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2 is right here. And then finally, I'll take 3 pi over 2 plus pi, and I, uh, pi over 2, and I get 2 pi for the last one. So this is my 2 pi here. These are all, my, these are all five of my key points. Now notice, these are the same exact key points I had originally when we had the original sine and cosine graphs at the beginning of this section. So that's, this is basically our base graph, and the only thing we're changing on it is our amplitude is going to now go up to 4. So I have 4 there, and I have negative 4 down below. Previously it went up to 1 and negative 1, but this one goes up to 4 and negative 4. So here, there's my, uh, my key points I had. Now sine graph, the sine graphs always begin on the x-axis. That's what our base graph does. It always starts at the x-axis. And then what it does is it goes up to here, it'll go up to that one, down to here, it's going to go down to 3 pi, down here at negative 4 at 3 pi over 2 and back up to here. So the graph itself is going to look like this. So we, we found these, these points right here. Now these are the same points. I could have just looked at the graph in the very beginning of the session and known that 
if I have a period of 2 pi and a phase shift of 0, I'm always going to end up having these same key points, 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. However, I also want to use this quarter point idea because in the later examples we're going to do, they're going to put some other numbers in front of the x. And then if you have another number in front of the x, then you can't use these same key points again. We've got to do this quarter point process. So that's why I want to start by doing every single problem exactly the same way so then you know the process for uh, graphing it.